So now what is this clavipectoral fascia? This is a fascia which is extending between the upper border of pectoralis minor to the clavicle. To see this extension of the clavipectoral fascia, now I have made incisions and I have reflected the skin, the superficial fascia which is a fibro fatty tissue. Then this is the muscle which is the pectoralis major muscle, made an incisions along its origin and now I have reflected the pectoralis major muscle towards its insertion to see the pectoralis minor. So this muscle is pectoralis minor muscle which takes origin from the third, fourth and fifth ribs and get attaching to the coracoid process of the scapula. Now uh, this is the fascia, this is the fascia which is intervening between the, this is the clavicle and this is the upper border of pectoralis minor muscle. So between this upper border of pectoralis minor and the clavicle, you see this strong sheath of fascia which is called as clavipectoral fascia. Now this fascia is meant to protect the structures which is uh, uh, behind this fascia. And if you see the tracing of this fascia, now this clavipectoral fascia, medially it is uh, attached to the anterior intercostal membranes of first two intercostal spaces and laterally if you see the extension will be with the coracoid process of the scapula and blends with the coracoclavicular ligament. So this is the medial extension and lateral extension. If you trace it above, above this clavipectoral fascia, it splits to enclose a muscle uh, uh, within the subclavian groove of the clavicle which is called a subclavius muscle. So it above it splits to enclose that muscle and get attached to the margins of subclavian groove which is a longitudinal groove which you see on the inferior surface of medial two thirds of the clavicle. The same way when you see the inferior extension, inferiorly this clavipectoral fascia it splits again to enclose this pectoralis minor muscle and again that get fused at the lower border and extends downwards into the axilla and continues with the axillary fascia as a suspensory ligament, as a suspensory ligament. Now, now after knowing the extension of the clavipectoral fascia, one should know what structures pierce this clavipectoral fascia. This clavipectoral fascia is pierced by the structures are like you know, this is the, this one, this is the deltoid muscle, this is the pectoralis major muscle. Between this deltoid and pectoralis major muscle, there is a groove which is called as deltopectoral groove. And within this deltopectoral groove, you see this structure which is the cephalic vein. So this cephalic vein is a content of deltopectoral groove and this cephalic vein, it pierces clavipectoral fascia and get drained into this vein which is called as the axillary vein. So this is one structure which is piercing the clavipectoral fascia. The second structure is, I think this, this one. This is uh, one of the branch of axillary artery second part which is called as the thoracoacromial artery, this one, let it make it clear, yeah. So this is the thoracoacromial artery, this thoracoacromial artery it pierces the clavipectoral fascia and it gives off the branches, namely it has got one branch towards the pectoralis major which is pectoral branch and one branch which is moving this one, yeah, this one, this, this branch is a deltoid branch, this branch is a uh, acromial branch and one branch will be moving upwards. This is the clavicular branch, clavicular branch. So we have four branches, pectoral branch, deltoid branch, this is the acromial branch and one which is above here, this is the clavicular branch. So these uh, branches are seen after piercing the clavipectoral fascia. And after this, we have a nerve also, this one, this nerve. So this nerve, this nerve is, uh, this nerve is a lateral pectoral nerve. This is a lateral pectoral nerve which is supplying to the pectoralis major muscle. So, Apart from this, you also have a structure which is the lymphatics. This is all about the clavi pectoral fascia. Thank you.